Hey guys, it's Little Boy Timidless, and today I'm going to show you uh, how to create um, a do-it-yourself acapella, or a DIY acapella. Now, if you're creating mashups and you're looking for an acapella, and um, you can't find the acapella you're looking for, you can actually create your own acapella. The method that I know how to do is called the uh, inverse phase method. Basically, it's you take the original song of this acapella that you want, and you get the instrumental of the same song, and you mix them together in a way where the instruments cancel each other out. And what you're left is is with the vocals. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, the program that I use is Adobe Audition. I think you could use other programs such as Audacity or other things, but the way I learned it, um, I the I use Adobe Audition. There's one thing that you need to know though first to get the best uh, quality acapella. You want to get the song coming from the same source. You want the original song and the instrumental to be the same quality and come from like the same CD or same source. For example, I have promo CDs. Promo CDs are the music studio or artists send out these um, CDs to the radio stations to play. They contain the original song and the instrumental. And luckily, sometimes they also release the acapella with the CD. But most of the time, it's just the original song and the instrumental. Now, these, this is what you want to look for. You want to get those CDs because most of the time, they're all the same quality, you know? If they come from the same source, they're usually the same quality. So, I'm going to show you first if you don't have the same quality and it won't work very well. So, for this example, I'm going to show you... Uh, it's a song called Snake Eater by Cynthia Harrell. Um, it's from the video game Metal Gear Solid 3. Now, I just got these off online. So this is the original song. This is the instrumental. I got these. These are two. Di I got these from two different places. I mean, I got it from the same website, but um, they they someone ripped them or whatever, uploaded them with their different quality, you know. So here, I'll show you. So this is the original Snake Eater. I'll play on iTunes real quick, and I'll show you the um the bit rate. You want to have you want them to have the same quality bit rate as well. So as you can see here, this is 171. And then the instrumental. Is 192. So you see they're not. They're close but they're not the same quality. You want to have the same quality. And I'll show you why. So first off. When you're in audition. You drag the instrumental. To the, the program. So see it's, it loads right here. And then you go to Effects, Invert, and then it'll invert the whole the whole waveform. Again, when I told you when you mix them together, it'll cancel out. So here I'll show you I'll show you a close up. So right now I just undo that. So now it's back to the original form. So if you look right here, make sure I'm on the right spot. So look at right here. You see this waveform where my cursor is at? It goes down. It goes up, down, up, down. When I invert it. It's going to go down, up, down, up. Watch this. There you go. See? It switched it. Now it goes down, up, down, up. So after you inverted it, right click, make sure you select the whole thing. You can so tell you if it's select the whole thing, it's all white. So see, it's all black. Just double click and it will select all of it. So right click, insert into multi track. And the multi track is. Um, it's basically what other uh, audio programs look like. Vegas is similar to this, kind of. I'm not sure about Audacity. But anyways, so this is the inverted instrumental. Now, you take your original song, and you drag that inside. Now, because these are different, they come from different sources, even though they're the same song, it's not going to work well. So as you already can tell, look at this waveform. This one is louder compared to this one. This one has, for some reason, the audio is lower, so you can tell the quality isn't that good. But um, I'll show you how you should how it works, though. So you zoom in with all these magnifying glass, and you just zoom in to the spot you want, and you want to match up the waveforms. As, well, not match them up, but you want to... You want them to be canceled out. For example, right here. Um, zoom in a little bit more. Now, because this is a, like it's lower, 
see if I can. Oh, that does that. Well, anyways, if you, you can barely see it, but you see right here, it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. Whereas this one goes down, up, down, up, down, up. You want to do that. You want to match the beats so that they're opposite, like so they're mirror, they're mirroring each other. That way, the instruments cancel each other out, and you're left with the vocals. Now, I'm gonna show you an example on. I, I, it's matched up as I close as I could get with this, but it's not gonna work well because it's they're different qualities. Here, I'm gonna play. Um, I'll play the original song so you can hear it. I'm searching and I'll melt. Now, when I do inversion, the inversion method, you can hear a little bit of echo because the the um, the instrumental is there. But like again, like I said, it's not gonna work well this time because the um, the qualities are bad. So yeah, as you see, I I can't do anything with this because the qualities are not are not great. But I ha I found um, online I found like the promo CD that the song was in. So this is these songs. These two came from the same source, as you can see. It came from the same album. So they have they will be the same quality. So and just make sure this snake eater is at 320 kilobytes kilobytes per second. And then the uh, instrumental should also be 320. It's right there, 320. So you ha you want to find, you have to try to find the g the highest quality, and they have to be the same. They have to most. It's easier to do this if they're from the same source. So I'm gonna drag these. We'll do what we did before. I'll drag the instrumental in here. So read it. Effects invert. Right click, insert into multi track. Go to workspace. Try it from here. And drag the original song in there. Now, look what the magic's going to happen. So, first, let me see if I. Well, I'll play it right now. I'll play the original song right here. I'm searching. All right. So now, watch this. When I zoom in a little and match these waveforms, watch what happens. Try to get best. You want to try to zoom in as close as you can so you can see what's going on. It'll be easier. So see right here. I can move this a little bit more to the right. So now let me play it. Now I'm going to play the original and the instrumental together. But the instrumentals will cancel out and you only hear the vocals. Thrill. Now it just you have to do some tweaking. But watch. I'll play it and then I'll do some tweaking. And you'll hear the, vo the instrumentals cancel each other out. Thrill. With darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill I'm searching and I'll melt into you What a fear in my heart But you're so supreme With darkness and silence through the night With darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. So as you can see, I'm going to play the original song. With darkness and silence through the night. And now I'm going to play the song with the instrumental in it. And you'll, the instrumentals will cancel, cancel each other out. With darkness and silence through the night. 
So sometimes you'll you'll still hear a little bit of the instrumental. It won't cancel it out entirely. Um, so as you can see here, there you heard the crash. But if you get a DUI acapella like this and you barely hear the instrumental, it won't matter. When you mash this with another song, the song will just be masked out. Like you'll barely, you won't even hear the little the little um, noises because the instrumental that you're gonna match it with is just gonna be overpowered. Overpower it. So yeah, let's recap. So one, try to find the original song and the instrumental for the same source. So if you go into Google, I usually type in like, let's say for example, I'm looking for the promo CD for Rihanna's uh, umbrella. I'll type in Rihanna umbrella promo CD. Sometimes you'll find something, sometimes you won't. That's part of the fun of being a mashup artist. You have to find your ingredients. And you want to make sure they're the same quality. If they're different qualities, sometimes you'll get an okay acapella, but it's better to get the same quality, so you'll get a better chance of getting a, a better acapella. So yeah, that's um, that's how you make an acapella. It's called the um, inverse phase method. There's other methods that some, that some people do that get better results. Like sometimes when I do this method with some other songs, I don't get a clean acapella, but somehow some other people can get a really good acapella and I don't think they do the inverse method. They do something else. I'm not entirely sure. But this this method is pretty easy. You could almost you could almost again almost do it with any song. You sometimes you get a clean one, and luckily with this song you get a really really good one. But yeah, um, that was how you make a DIY acapella. If um, you like what you saw, it would be nice if you subscribe, like, and put down in the comments if there's something else you want me to show you how to do uh, mashup wise. But yeah. That's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Bye.